Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're just going to do a whole bunch of unboxing videos. I was going to separate them for their individual categories. But I figured it would be easier to make one big long video than to do a whole bunch of separate little ones. So we're going to start off with this one here. I've acquired these over the last five months. I've just now had time to make them, so... Here's the first one. LG Scoop on Altel. Of course, they taped the box, so... Let's see if we can peel it off. Not hurting the box too much. I have a lot of these LG scoops, but I don't have one in a box yet, so that's why I decided to go ahead and get this one. But I don't think this was, yeah, so I think this was a different phone actually in this one. It's been a while since I ordered this one. So, but I did need the box, so I got kind of a deal with this. I don't really need this because I already have a bunch of these. But Oh, uh, why not? I got the more the uh, E85 manual for it, the actual LG scoop charger, which is funny. But uh, I figured I'd use this thing for parts, and then I needed the box for the other LG scoop I have. It's been like a month and a half since I ordered that this phone right here, actually. But I've just had them stacked up for a while. There it goes. Seems to be dead though. We'll go ahead and push that one to the side. Start off with the next one here. This was a Sprint phone, I think. And I need to post more videos, guys. I've just been so uh, busy with everything right now. So yeah, this one I ordered April 15th. Let me get that piece of paper out of there. So I know it's going to have my address and stuff on it. I also got their card in there. Pretty cool looking though, to be honest with you. Here's this phone. This is a Samsung SPH. I'm guessing an M360. It seems to be in really good shape, to be honest. Seems to be dead as well, though. But I don't have one of these in my collection yet either, so... This one... Um, and there's another one here. My girlfriend or opened up because she didn't realize what it was. But I haven't opened them from the bubble wrap here. So, I know what these two are. I just don't know what they look like or anything because I haven't opened them. This is a really cool phone. I've seen this posted the seller was really easy to work with on this one. It actually sent me money back because the shipping was cheaper than the actual mount he had on there. It's a Model 306. Um, it's a sharp branded phone. But this one uh, worked in the picture so it should have charged. It does have a screen protector on it it looks like. This is the one that doesn't have the bezel on the top of the chin on the bottom so it's kind of like backwards from a normal phone running sprint let's see here we're going to pause this real quick and there is a problem with this one is there is a software issue so we'll try to reset it uh, if that doesn't work we will try a couple other things, but I have some ideas on how to do it. So, there it is. It's in really good shape, though. So, if I have to, I can get another one, like a cracked screen or something, and part it out. And put the board in this one. And then here's this one that was already pre-opened. My address again. So, this one was kind of interesting. Uh, if I remember it. It was a Razer, I think it was. Yeah. 
So I think I just got one of these purple ones not that long ago. And this one popped up as well. V3XX. The lilac purple color on at and It's got the uh, very shiny reflective interior, which I got that other one as a parts phone. And I wanted to take the chrome out of it and put it in a different phone. So I wanted to have one of the purple ones. So when this one popped up, I figured I would grab it too. It seems to be dead as well. Uh, let's move on to this one here. This is another razor. This one's a lot worse shape though. It has a pretty deep scratch there in the, oh my bad, the camera wasn't focusing. Pretty deep scratch there in the uh, camera lens. Get to focus right there. Um, It is the gold color on singular. A couple bunch of stickers on the back of it. Shows water damaged. Which the water indicator on the board is red, but the one inside the phone is faint red, I would say. Maybe good. I'm gonna put this back cover on. Like I said, it was dead as well, so I didn't see if it had a SIM card in it. No SIM card. So we'll go to move on to the next one. This one, um, kind of interesting. Do you know why I bought this one? I have a Blackberry crib that I've been needing to fix and I've seen this one I don't remember the description or anything about it I think it was really cheap it was like 10 bucks so I figured I'll go ahead and buy it maybe hoping that the screen is good that we can take uh parts off of mine to fix it because mine works and everything the screen's just like half broken through here and mine's on Verizon this one seems to be unbranded a little chunk out of the aluminum there but I would say overall Really good shape for the, uh, the phone. The slider feels really tight. Maybe we'll destroy my other one once I get this one working. So there it is. Unknown carry on it. Let's see what this one is here. This one's packed really good, to be honest. I don't remember what I paid for this one. It's been a while again. I think this is one of the more recent ones, though. But if I remember, there's something broken on it. It didn't work. It was not working. But it had the box and everything, so at least just the box and the phone. So that's the reason I got this one. So we'll uh, see if we can get. I actually dailyed one of these, the uh, Evo 4G on Sprint. I had it flash to uh, Page Plus, if I remember right. Mine was white with a silver uh, kickstand, though. These are built in, so it just props up like that. Screen is cracked, delaminating it looks like. Probably doesn't turn on these HTCs are terrible for having batteries go bad. Volume button doesn't seem to work up at the top. Camera key there. I know mine broke on the port, that's why I quit using mine. This does pop off. SD card slot, no SD card in it either. There's that one. I think it's just, yeah, just that in the phone. So go ahead and put that one to the side as well. We got two left. One of these is with a box, and then the other one was actually a phone wall that I got. 
I was going to do the phone lot separately, but like I said, I just decided to make one big video with all of them to make it easier. So there's that. Just paper in the box. This is a Motorola Droid 2 Global. So here it is. On the Verizon, of course, flap is cut open, probably because I had to send the uh, IMEI number, ESN number in for like a mail-in rebate. Now, I don't remember this thing worked. This is the white one, white, silver, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to try to turn it on. Nothing. does have a battery. Model number is... A956, no SD card, no SIM card. I think this was a 3G device that was um, being used global, as in the name. No power, does have a charger. We'll set this one to the side and we'll move on to the last one. We'll go this side here. Some books, HTC Evo Design 4G. Another book for the same phone. The rest of that's just packaging. Now, I think there's more phones tucked in here, which this box is kind of ruined now, but. So, here's the books and stuff for that box. Here's the phone for the box, it's got a case on it. Go and pull it off if we can. Here, this one is. Uh, really good shape, especially being in a case. Very few markings on it, if any. It's probably got no power in it. Does have a pre installed screen protector, so yeah, it doesn't slide or anything like that. I don't know if the. Yeah, there it is. I don't remember which one it comes off of. Open it like that. There's the battery. Got a SIM card installed, no SD card. Model PH, it's really hard to read down there. It's right on this lip here. Uh, PH44100. Like I said, I doubt I'm gonna get the camera to focus in on that one. It's a little bit right there. Um, but no power, it's probably dead if anything. I'm gonna shut the little flap thing. That's kind of cool, I like how the battery is on this one. So there it is. We got a. We well, got a couple of cables. Very cheap micro USB cables. LG VN Virgin Mobile 265, which I think this is the same thing as the LG um, Banter on Altel. No charge on it. I've had these ones for a while too. These I think were all working in the pictures, but they've been sitting for so long. That one's really sticky. Here is a Sanyo with the case. It's gonna pop it off. Pretty good shape. A little bit of case rash on it. It's probably dead. Get the back cover off. SCP-8400 is the model number on it. I think I have one like this. I don't know. I remember this little selector thing on one of my other Sanyo phones, but I don't remember if I have one. No power. There's the case for it. Uh, or half of the case, I should say. I don't think it had one on the back. Let's see. Oh. Oh. 
I seen the uh, memory card. I thought it was gonna be inside the phone or in the battery cover, but it's here on the side. It does have an SD card, 64 megabytes. So we'll have to see if we can get this one charged up for all of the others. And then we should have one more left, which I think I have one of these already. I don't remember the color of it or anything. I think mine's blue if I did have one. I gotta think about it, it's been a while. Slide it this way, slide it that way. And it is dead as well. Uh, it looks to be in a little bit rougher shape. It's got some damage on this corner. It does have an SD card as well. 512 megabytes with a 2.0 megapixel camera. So all the best photos you could ever want back in uh, the year this phone came out. Let's see what year that was roughly. Let's see. Doesn't even say on the box like a copyright date or anything on it. I'd imagine it would have, but uh, 2009. So yeah, but it is dead like the rest of them. So there's a video for you guys. Sorry, I haven't made one in a while. I will try to get back on it, but everything has been crazy the past couple months. So I plan on making a video and that didn't go as planned. So hopefully I can get back on it and get back to making these videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one.